I'd like to begin by welcoming Kayla and Simon. It's a real joy and an honor to be able to marry and preside at such a beautiful couple's wedding. I always think it's the greatest joy I have as a priest to officiate a moment where you are uniting in love. And if I were to ask you right now, what is love really? What is at the heart of love? Love is patient. Love is kind. Huh? Love is making yourself a gift. Giving yourself away to the other person. Love means to seek the good of the other are to will the good. In other words, it's really not about me. But if I really love somebody, I seek their good. Love means to die for. And I didn't teach him that. He was teaching me that. to pour out yourself. No greater sign of how much God loves us. Right there, he was willing to empty himself of himself. In this moment, in a beautiful way, you're saying, I love you, I give myself to other. Sometimes I feel that little selfishness. Sometimes I just run up against the wall. Sometimes I'm tired. Sometimes I want to choose otherwise, I'm not in the mood. But what you are choosing is to decide to love. That's what God is empowering with you today with the grace to do what you can never do by yourself, to raise up that dignity so that you too can truly become a sign of God. Let us begin our celebration with the sign that saves us. In the name of God, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Most Holy Spirit, Amen. I'd like to begin by welcoming Kayla and Simon. It's a real joy and an honor to be able to marry and preside at such a beautiful couple's wedding. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And at this time, may I call up the mothers of the bride and groom to come forward for the lighting of the unity candle. And this will be a beautiful sign that just as you have given life to your children, they will be united in God and become one. You're being called to choose to love from this day forward. You're being called every single day to choose to love. Huh? That's hard. The road, the journey that you're beginning today to imitate God, to love like God. That's what's at the heart 
of the sacrament. You're becoming a sign of God here on earth. Your call from this day forward as a bridegroom is to give your life for your bride. Your new call from this day forward is to give your life for your husband, huh? for the bridegroom. That's what Jesus did for us. We are his bride and he literally laid down his life. My dear friends, you have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister in this community. Simon and Kayla, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Yes. Yes. And will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, and it says here, join your hands, but they've been holding hands since they got here, I noticed, which is, I always think that's a beautiful sign of the unity right there. You say, I, Simon. I, Simon. Take you, Kayla. Take you, Kayla. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. After me, and say, I, Kayla. I, Kayla. Take you, Simon. Take you, Simon. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with all of his blessings. May I call up the ring and Kayla and Simon. I pray that the symbol of the ring, the circular uh, symbol, is a nice reminder of God's love. No beginning and no end. He is giving you that love today to empower you always for the rest of your life. Kayla. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. Perfect. You can repeat after me and say, Simon. Simon. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. Simon and Kayla, since you have made these vows before God and the church, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Oh Kiss the bride. Hardworking and respectful. Who is Kayla Prunier? 
She's a loving daughter, a loving sister, and an amazing person. She has an exuberance and a love for life that is central part of her personality. When she was a young child of five, we got her a flashy purple bike for her birthday. And she expressed her joy by shouting, look at me, look at me, look at my new bike. So today, I say to you, Kayla, look at you, look at you, look at you and Simon. Be joyous and enjoy your special day. Uh, Simon and Kayla, you two look immaculate tonight. <clears throat> Simon is the guy who reassures you that everything's going to work out. He's, Simon is the person you're going to want in your corner when times are tough. Simon and I have always been around each other uh, for most of our lives. Today, however, I had the pleasure of watching Simon take the first step. Simon got to marry Kayla. Kayla, although I haven't been around uh, to hang out with you two over the years, no one deserves to have a caring, dedicated, and loyal partner more than you. Uh, you make my brother the happiest he has ever been. I'm so happy you two found each other, and I'm so thankful that we get to call, I get to call you my sister and have you in our family. Congratulations, Simon and Kayla. We love you. I want to say congratulations to Kayla and Simon for tying the knot. The key to a long, successful marriage is falling in love with the same person over and over again. Luckily, the both of you have found that person. Kayla is the older sister that every girl wishes they had. She has been there for me through it all. As you may already know, Simon introduced Kayla to fly fishing. Their most unique fishing trip to date was traveling to Africa during a pandemic in April of 2021 without any cell phone service. I had a feeling this was going to be the trip where Simon proposed, and I was right. My family and I received the FaceTime call at the end of their trip to inform us they were engaged. I cannot imagine a better man for my sister. Simon is the nicest guy in the world. Simon is supportive, loving, and caring, and wants the very best for my sister. I'm happy I'm now able to call Simon my brother-in-law. May your love be strong and bright. May your life be filled with light. May all your dreams come true. Wishing all the best in life for you too. Congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Norton. Woo! And the caravan is on its way. I can hear the merry gypsy play. Mama, mama, I look at him. She's not playing with the radio La, 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 la La, la, la La, 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 la La, la, la Yeah, the caravan has all my friends Yeah, they'll stay with me until the end Gypsy Robin and Sweet Amber Tell me everything 